Hey cuties, so in today's role-playing video, teen moms become best friends. Really? Is she always like this? Zoe, mommy and auntie Sky need to do our math homework. Can you please just sit down and let us do it? I'm sorry, Sky. She's not usually this crazy. She must be like overtired. It's cool. Let's just try and get this done though. Yeah, yeah, totally, of course. Mommy, 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 mommy! Oh, Kenzie, we're not getting anything done! Zoe, please sit down and play with your teddy bear. We're going to be done as soon as possible. I need to do my math homework if you want mommy to graduate high school. No, I want a cookie. Well, you can't have a cookie right now. If you sit down like a good girl, though, that would be excellent help. Can your mom watch her or something as we do our homework? No, Zoe is my responsibility. I can't just pawn it on my mom. Besides, my mom already raised a kid. It's my turn now. Yeah, well, your mom didn't have to raise a kid and do her math homework. Well, I guess that's my bad then. Come on, she's settling down a little bit. Let's just try and get some homework done. Hey, give me that. Oh, Zoe, get that back to me. It's not a toy. It's my turn. Zoe, you don't get a turn. We have to do our math homework. I'm really sorry, girly. This is not really working out studying with her here. I can't focus with her buzzing all over the place like a bee hyped on caffeine. Ugh, can maybe Josh watch her? Oh, he's working at night. He watched after school today. So he's her dad. Can you just watch her again? No, it's okay, though. We tried this and it didn't work. I think I'll just take her home and then we can try and study at school tomorrow. Okay, sorry this didn't work out, girly. Yeah, me too. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Whoa, where are we going? Home, because you're a little demon. Moments later. Okay, Zoe, go upstairs to your room and put your PJs on, please. Okay, Mommy! So, how was studying with your little extra study partner? Oh, I've never been so tired, Mom. We got no work done. Literally none. And now I'm going to be up half the night doing it. The only chances of me being productive is once Zoe's asleep. What happened? Nothing happened except we're teenagers trying to study for a test with a toddler running around. Or er, part toddler, part Tasmanian devil. This guy gets frustrated because she isn't used to dealing with kids. And then Zoe gets frustrated because we're not paying any attention to her. It's really an endless cycle of frustration. Oh, you can't blame Sky. She's not a mom, and most teenagers aren't used to dealing with toddlers. That's one of the things you'll have to deal with when you have a baby in high school. Thanks, Mom. I wasn't aware about that. I thought being a teen mom would be the easy thing. I wish you had, like, other mom friends who understood your situation. I think it would make it a lot easier for you. I do, too, but most other moms are adults and married and actually have their lives together and don't want to hang out with a mom that's my age. And other teen moms aren't exactly easy to find. Well, have you tried to look? I think maybe having a group of mom friends that you can hang out with and whose kids Zoe can play with would be a huge help. Well, if you find any of them out there, please let them know my number. In the meantime, though, I've got to go upstairs and get my kid ready for bed and then get ready to go to school tomorrow where nobody else can understand what it's like to be a teenager and a mom. All right, good plan. Sounds like fun. Did you not understand the sarcasm, mother? The next day. Come in, stay mom. Can't, Zoe. I gotta get to school, too. I'm just gonna drop you off, and then I gotta run. Oh, hi, Mackenzie. Zoe, I'm just helping out Olivia over here. I'll just be with you guys in just a minute. She's new, and Zoe, her daughter, Ava, is the same age as you. Hi. Hi. Do you wanna be my friend? Yeah. Wow, this is so cool. It's her first day, and she's already making friends. Yeah, that's awesome. Look, I'd really love to see you in chat, but I really gotta get to school. Oh, are you in college? Uh, no. I'm in high school. I'm a teen mom. Really? I'm in high school too in Barry Avenue. I'm also a teenager. Wow, I've never met a fellow teen mom. This is so cool. Yeah, well, I was just telling my mom the other day that it's so hard being the only teen mom in school. Oh, tell me about it. Wait, you too? Yep, the only one in my school. Same. I brought Zoe to study group last night and it was like trying to wrestle a wild alligator. Oh, I hear you. What? I actually brought Ava to school with me. <gasps> you didn't. Trust me, it was the biggest mistake of my life. But look, I get that you need to run so maybe we could have a play date after school today so the girls can hang out and we can too. Yeah, I'd really like that. Thanks, Olivia. I'll see you later. A few moments later. Late, 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 just like every other day. If there was a prize for being late, I would be the big winner. Hey, girly. Hey, Sky, sorry. I'm rushing to get to class right now. I'm already pretty late. Don't sweat it. I'm in that class too. I can walk with you. Oh, okay then. What's up? I'm really sorry about last night. I really I didn't know anything about being a parent. Well, you shouldn't have to. You're a teenager. Yeah, but you're one and you're my bestie. So if that means having to learn to be around kids more, then so be it. I know that you've kind of felt isolated since you had Zoe, and I don't want to make that any harder on you. I really appreciate that, Sky. But look, life shouldn't have to change just because I had a baby in high school. Hey, I love Zoe too, okay? And I love 
love you, so I'm here to do whatever I can. So, do you think that maybe we can have a redo later? We can do our homework, and maybe take Zoe to the stables after, so she can see all the horsies. I know she loves horsies, just like our Auntie Sky. <laughs> oh, yeah, she does. And, you know, I would normally say yes, but we've actually got plans after school today. You do? With who? Another team mom, actually, if you can believe that. You met another team mom? Where? At Zoe's daycare, and she's really, really nice, and her daughter and Zoe are like baby BFFs. It's really cute. So what are you gonna do? You think I can come with you? We're probably just gonna hang out with the kids and let them play. Trust me, Sky, you do not want to be there. You don't want to hang out with a bunch of toddlers. You're a teenager. Go have fun. Yeah, well, you're a teenager too. True, but once you're a mom, all your fun is kind of over. But that doesn't mean yours has to be too. But you're my best friend. If you're not having fun, I'd rather us not have fun together. That's what we do. I appreciate that, Sky, but right now I'm about to be super late to class. So can we talk about this later, maybe, after I put Zoe to bed? Yeah, sure. Talk later. Many hours later. Mommy, mommy, mommy! Hey, Zoe, did you have a good day? Yeah, I played with Ava all day. That's great. I wish my school day was as fun as yours. Can we go home now? Actually, instead of going home, we're going to hang out with Ava and her mommy. How does that sound? Really? So I don't have to be quiet when you study? No, not at all. You can play with Ava and have as much fun as you want. And when you do that, I'll play with Olivia. But what about Aunt Sky? Well, Auntie Sky isn't going to come with us. But I promise you'll see her again real soon. Sound good? Yep. Let's go. Moments later. This doesn't feel real. I'm sitting down with another mom my own age. And I'm actually getting my homework done and Zoe isn't attempting to climb me like a tree. I know. You cannot even imagine how many times Ava has stolen my homework and used it to color on. And look at the girls. They're literally having so much fun being kids. And not worrying about if mommy is gonna get her homework done. You won't believe how hard it is to find other kids to play with Zoe. Oh, I'm pretty sure I would. Every mom I meet looks at me like I would be their kid. They all wanna hang out in their little mom cliques and not let in the teenager. Right? And I I can only bring Zoe to so many events at my school. At first, they all just pass her around like she's a little doll. But after five minutes, they're wondering why there's a kid here and that if my mom could watch her. People always think it's so easy. Like, have your parents watch her. They're not our parents' responsibility. Preach. If our parents help us out too much, then they're the ones raising the kid. And then if they don't help enough, your friends get aggravated because then you don't have time for them. There is, like, no right answer. Exactly. Like, if her dad can't watch her because he's working, people get mad that He's not spending enough time with her. But then if he doesn't work, then they call him a deadbeat dad. There's no pleasing people. None at all. I wonder if moms who are grown-ups have to deal with that too. I don't know. Maybe it's a mom thing and not an age thing. But I can tell you it's so nice to be able to actually hang out with somebody my age for a change. I haven't hung out with friends alone since I had Ava. I still hang out with my best friend Sky and bring Zoe along, but it's just different. Different because she treats you differently or different because there's a kid there now? I don't know. No, she doesn't treat me any different, and she has been, like, the biggest supporter in the world. It's just, like, we're in two different places now, and it's kind of just weird. We've always been on the same path and doing the same things, but once I had Zoe, it was, like, night and day. That's what happened to me with my friends, too. Did any of your friendships survive? Uh, not really. I don't want that for me and Skye. I really want our friendship to make it. Then you're gonna have to put in the work. Mommy, mommy, come push me! I knew the quiet would only last for so long. Come on, let's go push our kids. Later that same evening. Okay, I want to take your clothes off so you can get in the bath. But then I'll be naked. Do you prefer to take a bath with your clothes on? Because that's weirder. Mommy, someone's at the door. I know. Okay, take your clothes off and then I'll be right back. Uh, Sky, what are you doing here? Is it a bad time? No, I'm just giving Zoe a bath. What's up? I've been thinking about it all day and I don't want to lose you, girly. What? What are you talking about? You could never lose me. That's not possible. It's just I feel like we've been growing apart and I don't want that. I know you're it's different right now that you have Zoe, but if it's different for you, I want it to be different for me too. Look, I really appreciate you saying that, but you don't have to change your life just because I had a kid. But I want to. Zoe isn't just a part of your life. She's a part of my life too now. So if hanging out with you guys means going to the park and watching cartoons, then that's what I want to do. Because I love you, and I want to be a part of whatever stage of life that you're in. Aw, Sky, I love you too. And I know you're going to have your own mom friends, but I hope you'll always remember me too. Are you kidding? You're not just my best friend. You're like my sister. Mommy! Mommy! I'm getting cold! No! Do you want to come upstairs and help me give her back? Sure! I'll warn you though, you might want to take off your shirt because she tends to splash. <laughs>
several days later. Wow, who would have thought? I know. I think we officially solved our homework problem.